First Timothy chapter 2. And this morning we want to look at verses 9 and 10. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for this time that we have to open your word together to look at this portion of scripture uh, geared towards the conduct in the local assembly. And Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would teach each one of us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Here we have a, a verse that begins a new section in 1 Timothy chapter 2. The whole chapter is about the order of service in the local assembly for the regular worship service. And in chapter 2, Paul began by speaking about the proper order for the men. The men are to lead in prayer. Uh, they are the leaders in the uh, local church. And then he says in verse 9, and in like manner also. And so now he's going to introduce a new topic. He's not lo no longer speaking about the proper order for the men, but now he turns to the women, and he begins with an exceptionally touchy subject, women's clothing and their overall outward appearance. So right now, I'm going to excuse myself and go home. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to teach what... The